Hey, most kids pretty much despise sitting still for long periods of time. And that's why traveling with the kiddos can be a nightmare. Sometimes, no matter how much you prepare, something is just bound to go wrong. Here's today's Kidding with Kayla. That's exactly right, Bob and Barb. I survived flying alone with my toddler. Experts say arrived two hours early, but when I did, the security line was non-existent and our flight got delayed an hour. This Justin, TSA does in fact know how to smile. Apparently, I just look suspicious. And take a look at this. Everyone else did. I can confirm this was actually my gift to the plane. Trust me, you don't want that kind of energy buckled up on a flight. And the MVP of the evening is a toss-up between the iPad and the car seat. Both led to this sweet slumber. So there you have it, folks. Not every flight with a toddler has to be a complete disaster. Alan, did you just pee your pants? Oh, my gosh. Never mind. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> You were doing so well. I First know. of all, I appreciate you. You know how much I fly. I fly all the time. Thank you for running your son down. Absolutely. Before you got there. Because letting him just scream on the flight is not exactly. anybody's ministry. Pick your battles. Yeah. And honestly, I would much rather see a kid run in circles in the airport mm -hmm. than a kid try to do that on a plane. That's the point. That's <laughs> the My point. son loves to kick. My biggest challenge with him is kicking the seat in front of him mm. oh he wants to do it and it's you just feel so helpless so you have to distract it to distract and you have to give him all these things and luckily you know bringing the car seat really helped the ipad really helped mm -hmm. um a later flight really helped um i also asked parents you know share your own traveling horror stories or tips for flying with kids and we'll start with the horror stories because those are more entertaining <laughs> <laughs> so one mom said she let another passenger who was traveling for business in his suit hold her baby for a second so she could eat <laughs> and her baby's diaper ended up leaking all oh. over him Oh, no. <laughs> I hope you had a change of clothes, but... It I mean, he was just trying to be nice I know. It. That's what you get for being a good person, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe keep a blanket somewhere. I yeah. don't know. Ashley said she, they lost the one pacifier that they oh, brought Lord. during security check. So they had to hear their child screaming the entire time and so did the rest of the plane. Oh, no, so no, no. So bring extra pacifiers is the lesson for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then Christian said her child threw up on her while she was Ooh. sitting on her lap in the plane. And then she dropped her stuffed animal on the plane's bathroom floor. So despite her better judgment, she had to give that stuffed animal back to her, even though it was dirty, because otherwise she'd be crying for the stuffed animal the whole flight. So you got to, again, pick your battles there. And lastly, Ashley says her one-year-old headbutted her on the plane and gave her a gushing nosebleed. Oh. So how about those tips now? <laughs> so my car seat hack... Favorite snacks, iPad seem to do the trick. Of course, letting my son's energy before the flight, you know, run around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Other people suggested toys, coloring books, a couple extra sets of clothes in case of those accidents. Uh, you know, going to the bathroom before and not drinking a lot on the plane as well. Taking a late night flight so it's more likely that your kids will sleep. And also bring a sippy cup on the plane so you can pour that drink that the flight attendants yeah, yeah. give you in the sippy cup so then you can you know, prevent some spills See, on the plane. Yes. I will say, I saw one mom, and I don't know what this was, but it looked like, um, I don't know, it almost looked like, like Play-Doh or something like oh, that. Yeah. And it was made to go on the window, because the, the child Ooh. was on the window seat. And so, like, he just was over here just reconfiguring this thing. That's nice. On the window. And I don't really know what it was, but whatever it was, I was thankful. Well, a lot of people suggest new toys because, you know, they mm. need something that's going to give them the distraction that they don't normally get or new suckers or, like, a candy that they've never had. So then they're busy with putting that in their mouth instead of screaming right. the whole time. Because you can't put a kid in a straight jacket. Yes. And there's the also been some that suggest actually handing out, like, gift cards for, like, candy or something. <laughs> Something to the people on the plane, like, sorry, you had to deal with my child. Here's, here's a sorry sucker for you. <laughs> it's always hard when the child can't speak. Yes. You know? Yeah. Okay. It's difficult. Mm. Well, you can find more of these horror stories and tips in this web story on wishtv.com. Just click the Kidding with Kayla tab or follow me, Kayla Sullivan, on Facebook. Mm hmm. We need it. <laughs> now I need to just start traveling with toys just in case. Yes. We all Take need to be prepared. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Kayla, thank you so much.